Hi friends, welcome to Freshers World YouTube channel, Jobs and Careers. Today we will be solving some questions on boards and streams which were asked previously in various government exams. A board running downstream covers distance of 16 kilometers in 2 hours. While for covering the distance upstream, it takes 4 hours. What is the speed of bottom still water? So we need to find the speed of still water. From the given information, we know that downstream rate equals 8 kilometers per hour and upstream rate equals 4 kilometers per hour. We need to find the speed of still water. As per the formula, speed in still water equals downstream rate plus upstream rate by 2. So that is easily given here which is equal to 8 plus 4 by 2 equals 12 by 2 which is 6 kilometers per hour. So it's given downstream upstream rate we'll have to find the speed in still water which equals downstream rate plus upstream rate by 2 from the given information we have downstream rate plus upstream rate so that equals 6 kilometers per hour moving on to the another question the time taken by a boat to travel a distance downstream is half the time taken by it to travel the same distance upstream so it will take two times the time taken to travel the distance downstream. What is the speed of the boat downstream if it travels 7.5 kilometers upstream in one and a half hours? So upstream travels 7.5 kilometers in 1.5 hours. So upstream speed equals 7.5 by 1.5 equals 15.75 5 kilometers per hour. So, from a question, we know that downstream speed will be 2 times the upstream speed, which means downstream speed equals 2 into 5 kilometers per hour, that equals 10 kilometers per hour. Moving on to the next question, the respective ratio between speed of the bot upstream and speed of the bot downstream is 3 is to 4. What is the speed of the bot in still water if it covers 70 kilometers downstream in 3 and a half hours? downstream seventy kilometers three point five hours. So downstream speed equals seventy by three point five that equals twenty kilometers per hour. So we have B plus C equals 20. So we need to find speed in still water. So from this equation, we know B minus C by B plus C. 
स्टिल वाटर स्पीड माइनस करंट बाय स्टिल वाटर स्पीड प्लस करंट इक्वल्स थ्री बाय फोर फ्रॉम विच वी विल गेट बी माइनस सी इक्वल्स थ्री बाय फोर इनटू ट्वेंटी इक्वल्स फिफ्टीन सो वी नो स्पीड ऑफ बॉटम स्टिल वाटर इक्वल्स d plus u by 2 which equals 20 plus 15 by 2 and that equals 17.5 kilometers per hour so from the question we have the ratio between upstream and downstream as 3 by 4 and downstream it covers 70 km in 3.5 hours so downstream speed equals 70 by 3.5 which equals 20 km per hour and from this we can find the upstream speed which equals 3 by 4 into 20 that is 15 km per hour and our question is to find the speed in still water which is upstream speed plus downstream speed by 2 and that equals 20 plus 15 by 2 which equals to 17.5 kilometers per hour the time taken by a boat to travel x kilometers upstream is twice the time taken by the same boat to travel x kilometers downstream if the speed of the boat in still water is 12 kilometers per hour what is the speed of the current so here it is given that Speed of boat in still water equals twelve kilometers per hour. Also, we know that the boat travels x kilometers up and x kilometers down. Time taken by boat to travel x kilometers upstream is twice the time taken by the same boat to travel downstream. So, let us consider downstream time to be one hour. then upstream time taken will be 2 hours so with this conditions we have a formula to find the speed of current which equals speed in still water into upstream speed minus downstream speed by upstream speed plus downstream speed so we have all the parameters here so that equals 12 into 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 which equals 12 by 3 and that equals 4 kilometers per hour then the speed in still water and the time taken to travel same amount of distance is given then The speed of current equals speed of bottom still water into upstream time minus downstream time by upstream time plus downstream time. Moving on to the next question, the ratio between speed of bot downstream and speed of bot upstream is seven is to five. So If the boat travels a distance of 63 kilometers downstream in 3 hours, what is the speed of the boat in still water? So, it's traveling 63 kilometers downstream in 3 hours. So, downstream rate equal 63 by 3 is equal to 21 kilometers per hour. So we need to find speed in still water. So here we have v plus c as twenty-one kilometers per hour, which implies v minus c equals twenty-one into five by seven equals. 15 kilometers per hour 
So, as from the formula, we know that still water speed equals half of down water speed plus spring speed that equals so these kind of question to find the speed in still water is being repetitively asked in various IBPS examinations so, consider this formula as a very important formula. Moving on to the next question. The speed of a boat when traveling downstream equals 32 km per hour. Whereas when traveling upstream it is 28 km per hour. What is the speed of boat in still water? So this is a rather direct question wherein we can find speed in still water. As half of upstream rate plus downstream rate which is 22 plus 28 by 2 which equals 65 to 30 km per hour. Hope you all have understood the questions. For more such videos, please like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.